Welcome, Dark Warriors. This is Rumen. Welcome to Jawai Resort, Pokitaru. I recommend going to the Gadgetron vendor and then buying the Visabomb gun of all things. Hopefully you have enough money for it. I recommend buying it now because making it to this part of the game with only that amount of bolts is well below the bolt quota. And having only 1,000 bolts at this point in the game, like this far into the game, will mean that you're going to get a lot of bolts because that's how collecting bolts in this game works. Because the less bolts you have at later parts, the more bolts you get. And the game adjusts itself to the amount of bolts you do get, so... Yeah, being on this planet in particular with only like 1,000 or 2,000 bolts, you're gonna get a ton of bolts on this planet that way. Hey, you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. Well, friend, have I got a deal for you. Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yes, you could say that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> So I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 mask left. How much? It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said. I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? All right. But you better not try to stiff us. The quality of this guy's voice acting always sounded weird to me. Like, it sounds like he's talking through a foghorn or something. Anyway, the Visibomb gun is very, very good. So you can just shoot and goes brrrr, and then he can kill enemies from a distance like that. It is the most powerful single shot in the game. Well, so far, right now, it's the most powerful single shot in the game. It is more powerful than the Devastator, definitely. So, yeah, Visibomb gun for you. I'm gonna swim down here if you fall off. I fell off because I'm bad. Anyway, we have these things. These things, deceptively strong. They, they do not go down in one wrench swing. No, they go down in like two or three, so. Yeah, blaster, first person blaster is definitely the best way to deal with them. So there, there, there. I'm gonna get you. All right, there you have it. Okay. Now there is a neat little strat I like to do here where I actually just jump up and nope. Get back, get back on the ratchet and then you jump up. And, oh my gosh, you can stand here. And if you stand on this platform, you'll be completely invincible. Like you, you cannot get hit ever at all if you stand here. And then you can get out the devastator and then bam and then Bam, but let's not do that. That's kind of kind of cheating if you do it that way. Anyway, you can jump off here. You can go into your gadgets, put on the Sonic Summoner helmet there, and then you can get our little friend to follow us around. And he'll take care of these things for us. All right, some more ammo here. There we go, nice eight Parasitor ammo. The Pyrocitor is good on this level. The Pyrocitor is really good for little guys in this game. So these little guys over here, they should take two Pyrocitor hits to go down. Yeah, like that. These guys, when I, when, when I was first playing this game, the... Uh, man, these little porcupine enemies are really no fun to deal with. They were really tough to manage. Personally speaking, they, they just kept overwhel overwhelming me and I kept dying and... Ah, it's just no fun. Run around and collect the bolts here. Like, they are deceptively strong. They can really... Oh my gosh, they can... They can really swarm you and stuff, and that's really no fun. Alright. Get the bolts there. Okay, snipe. Snipe. And snipe. Okay... You can get out the magnet detector to suck up some crates. I mean, suck up some bolts if you want, but I personally wouldn't bother. Okay, there. Also, you have to kill every porcupine you see. Because we're escorting the resort owner right now, and he can't get by, and there's enemies nearby. So, like that. 
I would not recommend using the wrench on these guys if this is your first time playing. They are not very easy to deal with with, with, with just the wrench. Okay, the best weapon for this would probably be... Not the Pyrocitor or the Bomb Glove, maybe. Stand right there. Alright. Want to aim down at the resort owner here. And sooner or later, the little porcupine fiends will come. There you have it. Yeah, look around. Very cool looking planet. This game is very good at doing different times of day. So different planets, like some 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 are during the daytime, some are at dusk, some are at night. And they all look very nice. Look at all those bolts there. Oh my gosh, flip. Didn't mean to do that. You can take off the summoner helmet if you want. There are no more summoner pods around. And it looks kind of goofy on Ratchet. Okay, blaster. Get you, get you. Blaster is very good on these little guys. Get you, get you. Hit, hit, hit. Also, a weapon that's really good for these things is actually the, the Walloper of all weapons. The Walloper is very, very good on the Porcupines. So I'm going to get out the Walloper. That's a good weapon to use on this planet, definitely. These enemies are probably maybe one of the toughest enemies, if not the toughest enemy fought so far. Because so far we have not had to deal with little enemies that also have a lot of health. Other little enemies like this usually only go down one hit. But these guys, if you're wrenched, they'll take two. And that's really no fun. So I'm going to get out the Devastator here. Snipe, snipe. There we go. Okay, and then snipe. Oh my gosh, I'm really I'm really bad shot with this thing, aren't I? And then snipe. And there you have it. Look at that big red shiny button. We're here. Now where's that fighter? Right there in that locked garage. One tourist crashes a jet and wham! <laughs> lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourist. And the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> So we have a little problem. We have a little problem. I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. Now cough up the mask. Well, I can see that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what. <sighs> Go talk to Bob at his Robo Shack. He knows about these locks. I really like Ratchet's attitude in that cutscene. Oh my gosh, you can barely hear her. Anyway, he's like, I just wanted the O2 mask, man. Like, yeah, I get it, Ratchet. I get it. You, you can't really blame Ratchet for being a little fed up at this point, can you? No. All right, cutscene here. Well, well, what do we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that work. Y'all been to Seattle, ain't you? Yeah, he installed the helipack. I can see that. I taught that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little fella up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet or you'd be out of luck, pal. So, 2000. See, we have enough for it, even though we had no money at the start. Because this game, the way the money works in this game is you get more bolts depending on how many bolts you have at a certain point. So because we came to this level with only like 1,000 or 2,000 bolts, we got extra bolts as you went through it, so we have enough. I've got it. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toe to hopping. <laughs> well, there you are, little buddy. Better than new. That's right, I am the man. <sighs> Yeah, not bad. Also, on New Game Plus, they cut out the the bolt quota to be max at all times, which is really cool. So on New Game Plus, you get so many bolts because the game is always assuming 
that you're on your lowest bolt quantity on New Game Plus, so you always get the max amount of bolts. Anyway, there's a pretty cool glitch you can do right now to get a gold bolt, but I don't roll like that. I don't do glitches in my walkthroughs to do unintended things. I only do everything the, the intentional way, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna show that off. I, I, I might link it in the description, though, so... Anyway, we gotta shoot all these warships. Whoa. Also, it's funny, dying here is deceptively difficult. It is really actually difficult to die here. Like, to die here, you have to, like, really, like, run into one of these things. And if, if you run into one of them, I mean, you'll just pretty much just, like, slide off them anyway. So you really don't have to worry about dying. If you want to quit for whatever reason, you can just press start and quit like that. But but don't, don't, don't quit. Anyway. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, my God. See, look, I just ran right into that thing, like, head on, like, full on. I'm still alive. Hey, kind of weird. Anyway. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Also, I love this part. This part's so cool. You're, you're in this ship just shooting these giant warships in the sky. That's cool. It's funny, I think I think the ship segment here is one of the better controlling ship segments in the entire series. The only ship that I like more than this ship is probably the ship in Ratchet & Clank 3. The ship in Ratchet & Clank 3 controls really, really nice and deadlocked. But, but besides that, like pretty much every Ratchet & Clank game has the ship. It has, you know, a part where you control a ship. And still to this day, this Ratchet & Clank game, the very first one, has one of the best controlling in the series. I'm being serious. This, this is one of the best uh, ship controls in in the series. You can like boost like this. You have these rockets. You can shoot these little 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 bullets like this. Yeah. All right, there it is. There's one more. If I can do a 360, I will say the ship doesn't rotate that fast. All right, there you have it. Well, I guess that should do it. <laughs> Here you go. It's about time. Yeah, every Ratchet and Clank game has a ship. Uh, if I were to say what the best controlling ship in the series is, I would say Ratchet and Clank 3 and Deadlocked have the best controlling ships because they basically control the same. And then um, A Crack in Time has a pretty underrated ship. And then it would be this one, this Ratchet and Clank game. Very good ship. I like the ship in this one. And then every other Ratchet and Clank game, uh, their ships would be below this one. Anyway. Go to, and then Devastator. All right, you want to shoot the ships in the sky. And this one's really not easy. This is the hardest aerial skill point so far. By far, definitely. Trying to shoot these ships. Not as easy as shooting the ships on the other planet. No, this, this is not as easy as the Gaspar or Iridia skill points, which were in a similar vein. Not at all, not at all. This one might take you a while, definitely. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. All right. Um, that one. Go, 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 go. I'm, I'm, I'm eyeballing it. I'm eyeballing it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, get it. Get it. No. Oh, did I get it? I, I can't tell. Man, this skill point's really not easy. This is definitely one of the harder aerial skill points in the game where you gotta shoot the ships in the sky. Oh boy. This one might take a lot of attempts. This, this one might actually waste a lot of your money, actually, because ammo for this weapon is expensive as hell. So I would recommend saving and then trying to do this skill point and then reloading the save when you run out of ammo for this skill point, because this might take a while. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, I got one. I got one there. All right. I will save. I will make a good example. I will save. Okay. Uh, oh my god, get it. Uh, my god. No! Oh god, this skill point's really annoying. Okay, I got another one there. Okay, good. Can I? No. Oh my god, get it! Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's that skill point. You have to shoot three ships in the sky like that, and unfortunately. The Devastator just barely makes it, so you, you need to use the Devastator there. Okay, restock on ammo here. All right. Next up is 
orcs on and i know i know we're missing stuff on poketaru but we'll do it later because it's better to do it later if you want to be all optimal and stuff anyway orcs on that's right you see that skill point i'm mean, skill point you see that mission there listed explore as ratchet and now we can explore as ratchet See, look at this. We're going to see him jump out of the ship this time. Last time he didn't. Last time he choked on the air. But now we have this cool helmet. I really like this helmet. This helmet is one of my favorites in the game, personally. I think this helmet is a nice precursor to what we would be getting in the later Ratchet & Clank games. Because in later Ratchet & Clank games, Ratchet get these get, gets these cool body armors. And the helmets on those body armors look a little... Look a little like the, this helmet here, so. Yeah, look at this. Look at this gaseous hell world here. Here. I wonder what happened here, man. Also, coming to this planet with 41 bolts, that is awesome. That is amazing. That means we're going to get so many bolts on this planet because the game does not expect you to get to this planet with that few amount of bolts. That is crazy. So the game is going to tell itself... Oh, this guy needs more bolts, and it's going to start giving us more bolts. So, that's a lot of fun. Anyway. Uh, yeah. This is the opposite of a resort. And luckily, we saved the previous planet from becoming... We we saved Pokotaru from becoming what this planet has become. So, yeah, Ratchet's, Ratchet's quite the hero, ain't he? We'll be doing it next time. Thank, thank you so much for watching, Dark Warriors.